Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from itssojenny.com and I just wanted to share with you today how I made this shadow box turn into this shadow box. So I found these shadow boxes at the dollar, uh, family dollar that's going out of business by my house. And they were three dollars a piece and they actually were uh, marked down to just over two dollars a piece. I got three of them and I knew I could do something pretty awesome with them. So I did. This is what I ended up with. And I'll just go through and explain the process on doing this. So this here, if you're going to look for these boxes, any little box like this, look for ones that can come undone. There's four little screws here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken out these tiny little screws. There's the top piece and here's the inside. Now this is a raised little piece of chipboard here and if you're really careful you can pop that out and use it and save it for another project. Alright, I've gone ahead and taken that out. It's a nice piece of chipboard and we'll just put it aside save it for another time. So this is what we have left here and what I did was I measured off of the inside of this frame here and I just measured that on a piece of heavy cardstock and that's how I got my size to put in here uh, for to cover this up Now the first thing that I did with that was I took a piece of paper, cut it to size as well, and just glued that on. <clears throat> For my project, um, I really like gold and black, so I went ahead and I think I just covered it up. Yes, I did. I used the Heidi Swap metallic texture paste and if you've never used it before it gives this really cool look on here I'll squeeze a little bit out and you can see what I'm talking about there but I just scraped that over the paper squeezed a little bit out. I apologize I'm doing this by myself because my husband's out working on the forge, working his own creativity. So I'm here alone. And then I just took a scraper and scraped that across the page and you can do it as thick or thin as you'd like to have as much of this paper showing through as you would like. Okay, I'm going to head and tape that down so I can show you what I'm talking about here. You're just going to take that and just scrape it across. And you can go thin. If you go hold it up a little more and scrape, you're going to get thinner. If you hold it down, you'll get thicker. Depending on what you want to kind of win in between. And from there, I just took a a roller, you can use anything for texture, and I just kind of rolled it around to get a little bit of texture on that. And that texture paste dries pretty quick. If not, you can use a heat gun just to go over it very quickly. Um, not too much, but just enough to get it dry. If you're like me and you want to get a project done. Um, I also used a bird stencil here and I just found that at Walmart. Stenciled that in with some uh, black acrylic paint. And then I put some uh, glitter, gold glitter, over that. 
Um, I also put some ribbons up here, some fabric on there, and then I did some stitching just for a little more texture. So here I have the stamp set I got from Hobby Lobby and it says behold I am with you always and here's the stamp set I have stamps that are quite a bit larger but I wanted something small for this project and again I found these at Hobby Lobby and I just stamped that onto um, a piece of muslin and I just tore uh, around that to get the frayed edge. I stamped on here with the Distress, Distress Oxide and I'm sure everybody's heard about this one now. This is like, well, I, I'm crazy about it, but um, this is a brand new product that just came out. I got this set for Mother's Day. Um, but they ho it holds its shape, but it also kind of bleeds out a little bit. And I'll show you a couple of the samples that bled out a little too much for me. So I did this one here, and you can see there's really nothing left on there. I mean, you can see a little tiny bit of staining. I did this one with not so much water, but it really just kind of ran out too far. So the third time, I decided to just let the glue be my water. So I glued it, uh, laid it down, ran the glue over the back, put it on, ran the glue over the front. And you can see there's just a tiny bit of feathering in those letters there. But it's still nice and bright. You can really see it. And then I just stitched that on as well. The last thing I did was add the frame around there. And I used the foam dots just to give it a little height, add a little bit more interest. And finally, once I was completely finished, I flipped it over and I put glue dots, uh, these glue lines, all over the back and then I pressed it down into the frame, cleaned the glass up real good and assembled it all back together. And that is how I went from this to this. I hope you can find some of these little boxes and make a really cool project out of them. Enjoy!